Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Gavin here from Starfresh Personal Training. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about supplements, all right? Um, I get tons of questions all the time, is uh, what supplements do I need to lose weight, get bigger, stronger, and all those things, all right? Um, and in fact, I had a client going back about two years ago, he must have been about 20 or 30 Ks overweight. Um, and he was desperate to take supplements to lose weight and not exercise. Um, to the point where the end is like we didn't work together anymore just because um, you know, that wasn't the sort of client I wanted to work with. Um, at the end of the day, if you're looking for quick fixes through supplements, you're going to be very, very disappointed. It's going to cost you a lot of money um, and health-wise, it's not going to be good for you. So the, the key, all right, the, the thing, the, the key is the term supplement. It is a supplement to supplement an already okay to good diet. So if you're looking for supplements to take over from a good diet, then you know, you're really sort of focusing on the wrong things. Um, you know, I think roughly um, quality protein powders these days are maybe in New Zealand anyway, about maybe $60, 60 to $80, $100 sometimes. It's quite a lot of money. Um, and if you're relying on those things to help you lose weight, then you know, you're sp not only are you spending a lot of money, and that money should be going to buying good food in the grocery store and in the supermarket, because that is where you're gonna get the most um, most benefit from. Um, so I'm gonna go through uh, five, okay, five supplements. Um, and they seem to be the most common, there's thousands of them out there, and they all claim to do different things, but I'm just gonna go through the uh, through some of the basic ones, right? So the first is a protein powder. You can pretty much walk into any house, if for anyone who goes into the gym, and they've got protein powder or uh, BCAs, which are branched chain amino acids. Um, and people are chugging these down, you know, like no one's business, like water. And they're thinking that it's going to give them results. So, for regarding a protein powder, if you actually look at the protein powder, if you've got a fairly decent one, okay, this is going to, a 30 gram serving is only going to give you between 20 and 24 grams of protein, okay? So the question I'm going to ask you right now is, A, how much protein do you need? To, for your goal, whether it be fat loss or, um, or, or to gain muscle. And the second question is, how much protein do you currently take? All right, they're the two questions. If you don't know the answer to one of them or two of them, then you're wasting your time uh, taking a protein powder. A protein powder um, is, is really, really good for convenience, okay? It's to supplement a diet lacking in protein. So if you're somebody that um, you know you, you really, really can't get enough protein in from your diet, then you supplement with the protein. Bearing in mind it's only 20 grams, it's not that much. Um, and, and pretty much that, or, or you know, you just need to eat so many calories and you know it's the next best option. So it comes under convenience and supplementing a poor diet. Before you even go into this into the supplement shop, you need to get your diet in check, all right? And you need to, and there's a couple of ways to do it. I've talked about it before. You can either use portion sizes, or you can track it by my fitness pal, which I'm a, a, a great uh, great believer in. And only then, once you once you've done that for a little while, and you realise that a you're not getting results in the gym, and b you're really finding it difficult to hit your protein requirements, then it's worth going to get a protein powder. And that protein powder probably should, you know, it's safe to drink every day without a shadow of a doubt, but it should only really be there when you, when you, on days that you can't get a protein, so you can't get a meal in after the gym, or you can't get a meal in before the gym, whatever else, and they, they're really, really good for, for fillers and, and, and as a snack, okay? So let's just equate that for a second. Um, I'm gonna give you three food, three protein food examples, okay? One's a steak, so a generic steak, this is all the information coming out of my fitness pal. Um, and there's going to be a little bit of discrepancy, okay? Nothing is ever bang on. But in roughly 100 grams of um, steak, which isn't that much, you get 25 grams of protein, okay? In chicken, 100 grams of chicken, raw chicken, is, 100, is, is 20 grams of protein. And in three eggs, you're roughly going to get about 20 to 21 grams of protein. So as you can see right there, just from real whole foods, you're getting your amount of protein. And if you go for eggs for argument's sake, they're a complete protein. They're, they're a perfect, perfect um, source of protein. They've got all the amino acids in there. You know, you can argue whether they're um, uh, uh, cage eggs or organic eggs, entirely up to you. Um, but they give you that protein, okay? So just to put it into perspective for you, 
20 grams of protein you can easily get from food, all right? So don't waste your money on supplements until you know those, the answer to those questions. A, what is your current protein intake? And are you lacking it in your diet, all right? So they're the, the questions. BCAs are the same thing, all right? If you're eating a lot of protein in your diet, you, you're gonna get, you're gonna get um, enough branched chain amino acids from the protein you're already eating. So you don't need to spend a lot of money. And people, you know, and, and there's lots of studies here, I'm not gonna negate either or. People sip branched chain amino acids through their workout. There's been benefits to show it works. There's also been studies to show it doesn't work. So, you know, unless you're a competitive bodybuilder or a competitive athlete, you're probably wasting your money in my opinion. Because at the end of the day, you know, you can do, you can achieve amazing things just by cleaning up your diet, all right? Without having to spend the extra money which the, which the supplement companies tend to push to make you think you get brilliant gains, and actually it doesn't. Um, I've been in, I've, I've, I've spent a lot of years uh, trying all this stuff out, and I've tried fat burners, and I've tried protein powders, and I've tried branching amino acids, and do you know what? The, the, the months I train without them, I get the same results pretty much as the months I train with them. Um, and in my opinion, the only thing I ever buy is a creatine and a, um, and a protein powder. And they're the only ones I buy. Um, or I, I do take, I sometimes take fish oil tablets and, and occasionally green supplements, but that's, I'll go over this in a minute. So take it from me, okay? Start off, get your, get your diet in check. That's really, really important. Um, and once you get your diet in check, then you're going to be able to supplement if you need to supplement with a protein powder. Next one is going to be um, is going to be creatine. So, uh, like I said, with creatine, um, what creatine does, and there's been tons and tons of studies to say how uh, how good it is and how useful it is. It basically regenerates something called ATP in your body, okay, which stands for adis- um, adenosine triphosphate. And it's your body's source of energy. So when you're doing um, like short, fast, um, or if, in fact, en- every energy, okay, um, everything, everything out our body um, works with energy-wise is broken into ATP to give you the energy. Um, and it's broken down and it's used at different rates depending on the level of activity. So if you're high intensity sort of exercise, your um, ATP sort of you know works quite hard, um, and it's quite a fast, lots of lots, a big dump of ATP. And then obviously that depletes pretty quickly. Then it goes in different energy systems into your body. Um, there's three or four where the fact is any you know, of your body, you know, creates energy at a slower pace, which allows people to run marathons. So the ATP produced for a sprinter is short, fast, hard burst. Then it sort of depletes. Then your body goes into processes to regenerate the ATP to keep you going. And that's how marathon runners, ultra marathon runners, and everything else get uh, are able to to train. So. When, you're, when the ATP stores in your body are depleted, so if you can imagine going for a fast, big sprint, you're gonna stop dead. You're not, you can't sprint for long periods of time. Um, so what creatine does, all right, it helps regenerate ATP in your body, it helps with energy. So what you find is, what, what that equates to in, in real life, I guess, is that if you're in the gym and you get into those last couple of uh, reps on a, on a, say, a bench press, let's for argument's sake, or a squat, those last couple of reps, if you weren't taking creatine, your body would run out a lot faster and you you wouldn't be able to get that last one or two reps up. When you take creatine, it helps you push out one or two extra reps, okay? It helps you push a little bit harder. Um, and if you're training at that sort of level, it, it does make all the difference because you add in extra couple of reps out and you're able to, you know, increase your performance. It then helps build up, build um, muscles and strength and endurance within the muscle, okay? So creatine is good. Do you need creatine? Um, I don't know is the answer to that. Um, if you're a normal person, go into the gym to lose weight, get fit, get a little bit stronger, you probably don't need it. If you're getting, you know, if you're eating enough protein in your diet, because all, all, um, all uh, uh, creatine is is a, is a form of protein. If you're going to the gym and you know you're working out for health reasons, for to get a little bit more muscle, a little bit fit, uh, lose a little bit of weight, you probably don't need creatine in your diet. Um, it's really up there for people who want to perform, who want to put on lots of muscle, and that that's what creatine is there for, right? So you know if that if that sounds like you, then absolutely try it. Um, it, it does make a difference in the gym. I I, I tr- take creatine period periodically through the year, and I do find my training. It does a little bit better, but 
you know, I'm not a competitive bodybuilder, I'm not an athlete, I train um, to keep myself healthy, to keep my weight down, which was the whole reason I started working out and eating better in the first place. So in a nutshell, I don't really need creatine. I take it because sometimes, you know, periods of the year when I want to train a bit harder, it, it helps with that, okay? So generally, you probably don't need creatine and, um, you know, you, you're wasting your money if, if, if you're fit into just a general health category. Fat burners. Now, there's lots of studies done around fat burners and stuff, and do they work? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And for the general population, that's what I'm talking about now, that people who have just come to the gym, just getting starting to get fit and healthy and starting to lose weight, they're an absolute waste of money, all right? As again, they supplement to supplement a good diet. If you're a competitive bodybuilder and you need to get down to four or five percent body fat, um, taking a fat burner will give you an extra one or two percent, okay, of, of fat loss. It'll help you get that extra little bit leaner. But if you're somebody that's, that's got 15 to 20 kilos to lose, it's not really gonna make a difference. The, the, what's gonna happen is your whole sort of diet and training approach is gonna be the absolute keystone of what you need to do. And then if you get down to that level of body fat and you wanna get leaner, then it's, it might help you a little bit, okay? But you gotta be very, very careful on what fat burners you buy, you gotta do your research, you got to find the ones that are really good. Some, lots of them are just bunches of caffeine and, and um, lots of other stimulants in there. Um, and to be honest, they're not that good for you, right? So, you know, from a health standpoint, I would suggest you avoid fat burners, okay? So some supplements that are good, okay? So fish oil tablets. Um, fish oil tablets are, are really, really good. In, our, in this day and age, uh, um, we tend to um, not eat enough Fish, we don't need enough good fats, and the good fats combined in fish oils are omega-3 omega three acids. And omega-3s help with reduction of inflammation within your body. Um, back in the um, in the days when we were, you know, leaping around trees, um, there's a ratio of a one to two. So an omega-6 is a inflammatory fatty acid, and omega-3 is anti-inflammatory. And back in the day, we were about two to one um, anti-inflammatory, oh sorry, inflammatory anti-inflammatory. So as you can see, you know, the, the, they were pretty unequal pars. And nowadays in current society, we're on about 25 uh, omega-6s or inflammatory fats to one or two um, anti-inflammatory fats. So you can see there's a big disconnect, okay? Um, and there's been lots of studies done, there's lots of programs out there and, and documents about, you know, that's probably one of the reasons we get all sorts of health-related diseases because that balance is so big. So if you if you don't eat fish in your diet, you don't eat flax seeds, you don't eat any uh, thing with omega threes in, it's going to be really really good to take a, a really good quality fish oil, krill oil, and get that into your body. I know for me personally that when I've got really bad joints, um, I know when I take fish oil tablets, it helps with my joints, it helps with my fingers get sore, my knees get sore, uh, my elbows as well. And when I take fish oil tablets, it tends to not be as sore. All right, so they're a good supplement as long as they're good quality. Green supplements are another one. So obviously, you know, recommended daily doses of um, of, of greens uh, is, is three to five fruit and veggies. A lot of people don't even get three or, or three to five at all. They, they're far from it. So if you're somebody that's lacking in vegetables in your diet, then absolutely a green supplement is gonna help you, okay? They, they can, they're sort of concentrated um, nutrients of, of greens. Um, and, you know, you can put them in drinks and your protein shake, if you take protein shake, um, or you can put them in food and everything else, and they're really, really good, okay? They are gonna help you, they are gonna give you some essential nutrients that you might be lacking. But all of those supplements I've just mentioned, as I said again, they, they're just supplements to supplement an already okay diet. They're not there to be taken solely um, to, to, um, to take over, basically. You can't live on supplements. You need to eat good food, real food, um, you know, equal amounts of, or oh, sorry, um, proportionate amounts of carbohydrates, fats, protein, um, that's what you need in your diet. And if you if you want to, or even thinking of um, using supplements to, to take over a normal meal, um, guys, it's not healthy at all and it's, it's not gonna be good for you, all right? So um, in a nutshell, all right, proteins, I'm gonna say it again, supplements are there to supplement the diet, simple as that. Um, and if you don't know what you're already doing, you don't know what you're lacking in, you shouldn't really be taking supplements, all right? Because, you, you know, if you, you don't know, you're taking them because everyone says they're good or the, the sales the sales pitch is it's gonna help you do X, Y, Z. Um, and they do to a very, very small degree, but 
they're not gonna they're not the be all and end all and you know you're far better off spending your money on buying some good ingredients from the supermarket um, and preparing good quality meals at home and if you start doing that you're going to start to see some very very good results um, and you're going to realize then that you don't need supplements okay and that, that's the bottom line of it um, i hope you found this video helpful um a lot of it is my opinion a lot of it is what i've uh, what i've been through myself a lot of it uh, some of it's what i've read and what i've researched on because obviously that is what i do um, and you know, I hope you find it useful. Please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel if you found this uh, useful. Uh, email or, or share it to somebody you think may find it useful. Um, I'm going to leave my email address below as always, and uh, I'd love you guys to touch base with me if you have any questions, um, or ultimately leave a leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, and I'm going to leave another link in in this video as well to my other nutrition sort of um, videos, uh, which I'm going to do lots more of over time. So uh, anyway, guys, like I said, as always, start afresh. You can start afresh at any time of the day or night. Um, like I said, if you don't do something today, how will tomorrow be any different? Cheers.